has gone to pick up the girls from school and I on the other hand have to meet with our younger daughter's teacher after school. So he will go and he will pick up the girls and I will go and then I will meet with the teacher. So I'm just out here for just a short ride. Thought I would go ahead and take advantage of the sunshine, add an extra layer on because I'm a chilly kind of person and just go out for a short ride and bring you all with me. Thank you for joining me. I'm gonna do a really short video uh, because my trip is not very long, but I'm also gonna talk about something that I only want to talk about for just a short amount of of time. One of the uh, things that makes it that I'm able to, that I feel that I'm able to ride a motorcycle is that I rode bicycles as a kid. I raced bicycles and so I did that, but I also have ridden horses my entire life. So I have had the pleasure of owning a few horses in my life that have gone a very long time with me. Um, I also have raised my girls to own and love horses also. Matt, that's something that Matt and I, Mr. Motor Matt Man and I also share is our love of horses. I had a horse just recently pass away, and he, after the blood work was done, uh, it was determined that he passed away due to West Nile, and I will tell you that I owned him for 22 years. Um, He was my fine wine. He got so much better with age. His name was Geronimo, and he was a paint. The spirit of Geronimo is his registered name. He's a paint slash pinto, a horse of color, a quarter horse. He um, had him since he was two and a half. Uh, we ha- he did anything and everything uh, with us, especially before we had kids. Uh, we would do trail rides, or when I showed horses, I, I did Western Pleasure showing horses. I barrel race, I did trail riding, just a lot of different things. He was never really good at just one thing, but he eventually became good at all of it. I say he was my fine wine. He got better with age because if there was a bird on the wire and he didn't like the way that bird looked, he would freak out when he was younger. But I tell you what, as he got older, if there were any little kids or an adult that wanted to learn how to ride and was afraid or timid or anything like that, I would put them on Geronimo because I knew that he wouldn't do anything to hurt them and he wouldn't stray from being close by me at all, for sure. He would stay by me and it didn't matter if he didn't like them or they kicked and, you know, messed with his mouth a little too much. It didn't matter. He was, he would behave and that's why I consider him my fine wine because when he was younger, he would not have put up with that kind of behavior from a rider. He would have boxed and he'd have tried to get them off. But anyway, again, like I said, this is a very short trip for me, but it's a very short conversation. Just letting you know, I've kind of turned to my motorcycle uh, to help me through this because, you know, you have something like that for 22 years and then you have it leave suddenly. It's uh, a bit shocking, but as I power through this, my uh, motorcycle is uh, something that just kind of gives me confidence and uh, i just really enjoying it and I'm glad that the weather is going good for me right at this point in time to be able to continue to ride 
because pushing through losing Geronimo has, has been kind of difficult. But anyway, I'm not going to continue to ramble on in regards to it. I just was making a short video on my way to the school to uh, meet with my daughter's teacher. I will also try to go ahead and include a picture of Geronimo um, when I post the video too. So you can see what he looked like. He was a brown and white paint for. Sorry, I have somebody right up behind me and I'm not used to it because Moto Mat Man is normally right behind me and so that makes it that I don't normally have a car or somebody right on my tail. So, all right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off for now. Again, I appreciate you uh, taking the ride with me. It's just a very short ride, short video. I will add pictures and everything, but just out enjoying the day and just, just definitely enjoying the nice ride and the freedom to be able to do so. So, I appreciate you riding along. Um, I don't post as many videos as I would like to, but I appreciate you watching the ones that you do see. And, you know, if you like what you see, please go ahead and click the bell so that way you can get the notifications anytime I am able to go ahead and post videos of my ride. All right. Well, thanks again, and I hope you leave a little sparkle everywhere you go. This is Mrs. Moto Matman signing off. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>